Sean Bardo, Sea Gear Marine Supply, Cape May, New Jersey. And today we're going to show you how to do a standardized place on three strand nylon. So, first thing you do is you guesstimate your tail. You know, I've done this so much, I can just eye it up. But it's probably a good six, eight inches of tail, uh, depending on the diameter. Today we're working with, uh, there's a piece I found. I'm going to guess it's around three quarter. So I'm going to use that as my tail. I'll make my eye. Now the eye you can make as long or short as you want. Standard cleat length on a dock line, say up to three quarters, about 12 inches. You can make it, again, any size that you want. So take it, judge, judge your eye, take a piece of tape, twine, whatever you'd like. I like to use tape and mark your eye off. Okay, now that we have our eye, we gotta take our tail. Now, we gotta split the, the uh, split the strands so what I like to do I like to keep everything tight so I, I cut the tape in between the strands I like to leave the strands attached to the tape for as long as possible so what I do I break it apart peel one off I like to keep it tight the nicer you keep it the nicer the splice ends up so I've already prepared three pieces of tape I like to keep them cut before I do the splice I take one and we'll tape this nice and tight I always tape with the way the rope is laid the lay is the direction in which the strands are going. So this is going to the left, so I tape to the left. It keeps it nice and tight. Otherwise, it opens up, it's fluffy, and it just doesn't make a good presentation. So again, these are still touched to the tape. Peel your second one out. Keeps everything nice and uniform. Give it a little twist. Throw some tape on this one. And the last one is there. Sometimes you can use this tape, but sometimes it doesn't look, really look that well, so use a fresh one. Okay, so now we've got our three strands. We've got our tail, we've got our eye. Unwind your strands up to the tape. Now this is the most critical part of any splice, your first set of tucks. So I like to unlay them so you see where everything lays. You wanna aim for your center. So your center is gonna be your top dead center. So you find your top dead center, one will go to the left, one will go to the right. You find the strand closest to the center. So if you can see here, we're gonna be picking this strand. This rope isn't a super hard lace, so I can do this with my fingers. I give it a little twist, pop it up, take your center strand, and go this way. You're always going to go against the lay of the rope. So the rope is right lay. We're going to the left. So that is our dead center. I always do the next one to the left first because it's real easy. It goes right to the next set of uh, line there. And straight under. There we go. Now this one is the tricky one. Like I said, everything's going to the left. Well, this strand can't go to the left because it's got this in the way. So you have one strand left. It's a three-strand rope. There's this one here. This one actually comes back and forward. So you're going to take this strand, pop it out, and this run, like again, comes back this way and over. So now all three strands are tucked once. So one, two, and three. So to finish the splice, it's just over-under. So you find this one here. We'll start here. Over the front strand in front of it, under the next. Then go to your next one. Do it in, in sets of tucks. Do all three strands at one time. Don't follow one out farther because if you keep going with one strand, you might lose what, what a strand you're looking for. So if you do it one set of tucks at a time, it's easier. Again, this one's here. There's one in front of it, over that one. Under the next one, dead set ahead of it. Okay, so that's two sets of tucks. I give them a little snugness. Now that we have two in, I like to pop the tape off. Again, be careful you don't cut the rope. Pull it off. So now, like you can see, these strands are a little loose here. This is where I'll snug it up a little bit. I'll pull a little tighter, make sure everything's even. You can always tell your legs should be basically even because you do the same amount of tucks. So we've got two so far. Um, some people do three. We do four, minimum four, just to make sure we have equal rope strength. You know, when you tie a knot in rope, you lose 30% of your strength, minimum 30%. Bullwind, doesn't matter. Any knot, you're making a kink point in the rope. Splicing rope is the closest you'll get to 100%. It's in like the 90th percentile or so, like how strong you're going to go. So once again, as I've been talking, that's our three. Now you can count your tucks if you lose place. So I find the beginning and you follow the one strand. We have one, we have two, we have three. So again, we're going to go to tuck number four. A little 
over and under, over and under. If I go fast, it's because we do a thousand of these a year, if not more at Sea Gear. We do all types of, types of custom splicing. This is on the simpler side. So there is your standard eye splice. Now I would take a heat gun or an, a nice serrated knife and a blowtorch and cut and trim these. If I wanted to taper the splice, you can make it look a little prettier, a little bit more sleek. That's why I usually leave my strands a little longer. So if you want to taper it, we have four tucks. Leave one, tuck one one more time to five, then go to your last one. You want to go five, then six. So now we have a tapered eye splice. You can see once you trim that, it'll be nice and sleek. You have your eye to go on your cleat or whatever heck else you're going to tie it on to. And that's your splice for today.